to a car repair, so car garage back out here with it. I'm getting ready to <clears throat> adjust the valves on here. The firing order is one, three, four, two. Uh, when the cam sprocket is positioned, it says up. That's uh, cylinder one at top, dead center. I'm gonna actually go ahead and adjust the cylinder one right now because uh, it's at top dead. So the intakes I'm setting to 0.8 millimeter on my feeler gauge and the exhaust I'm setting at 0.10. So you wanna use a combination of a screwdriver, uh, 10 mil and your feeler gauge. I'm starting off with my exhaust, so we're gonna, I'm setting it to 0.10 millimeter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it out, see how it feels now. It actually feels, feels pretty good. This one's a little loose. It's actually not off that much, but it's a little bit loose. Go ahead and <clears throat> fill out the intakes. That one feels good as well. I'm gonna actually test it to see if my tent could fit in there. Nope. Nope. So cylinder one is actually spot on with the valve adjustment. Uh, I'm actually happy about that because it's head. I ordered it. So maybe they uh, adjusted the valves for us uh, before they sent it out. Because that actually feels pretty good right there. That's actually that's actually not bad. I'm gonna point. I'm gonna try a point twelve. See if it can fit. If it can, I'm gonna slim it down. Yeah, I see a point. The point twelve can fit. So the exhaust side is just a little bit loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the exhaust side now. So you got a screwdriver, your filler gauge, and to tighten up your valve, you want to screw to the right. And to loosen it, of course, you want to screw to your left. We're tightening it, so I'm going to be screwing to my right. And you want to have a little bit of room to go back and forth in there. That actually feels pretty good. So get your screwdriver holding in place as you tighten it. Good to go. Yeah, that feels a lot better. We're gonna keep it right there. So that's pretty much how you adjust the valves on this motor. Uh, point 0.10 on the exhaust, point 0.8 on the intake side. Um, just follow the firing order and do the same thing. Repeat the same process. Just follow the same procedure for all the remaining cylinders. Remember point 0.10 on the exhaust side, point 0.8 on the intake side on your filler gauge. That's it for this video. Slow car repairs, slow car garage. Peace.